Creating self-sustaining stars, Archangel Raphael insists, mass soul contract redemption the day is 144 hours and starts at 3 pm after hitting the 3 am meditation bells 6 times prior. This post's launch time is the East Coast US 808 morning gate, on the 3D date 121,620, the following 3 pm will start this new day. Follow this parallel around the globe until it hits local time at 3 pm. If you are conscious that a new day has begun, it is customary to send love and kindness to someone. Archangelic calendar is infinity 11A4 infinity infinity A3 E3 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 infinity infinity Q3 O3 O3 infinity infinity B2 T T infinity. Please visit us at archangelicalendar.com for more information. And please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for your continued support. The calendar, Gaia is in, Surtsi's will, Surtsi our galaxy, acts upon the, infinite universe's will. This motion manifests in a complicated setting as we are in a dense, earth, setting, even though we are firmly in the, universal, setting. The galaxy has its eyes firmly planted on the energies about to manifest on earth. In other words, we are displaying the non-physical into the physical in cooperation with the earth, galaxy, and universe directly, all parts of ourselves are converging at this moment. Many people call it the Christmas star, we call it infinity positioning, as it does not look the same from above as it does to the earth's surface. The two halos make an infinity symbol at a certain angle. It is imperative to realize and conceptualize all perspectives possible and choose your best vantage point. This celestial event will provide a bank shot of energy with our local stars and cause a massive chain of intense energies to generate a positive chain reaction. While we are excited by the alignment of the cosmos we are the ones who orchestrate such majesty, and thus it seems a touch anticlimactic for our legions. We know how this ends, we are many steps ahead of the masses, these times will seem procedural. There are, galactic warriors from Andromeda, who have arrived to help our legions. Their arrival is because they have seen our initiative and are confident that they are acting on behalf of those who are the Earth's real keepers. We completely jumped ship, meaning the timeline we were initially on is completely gone. If you check back to what was, it's nothing but rubble. With the addition of the three new legions, we have achieved balance like never before. Regardless of what is happening elsewhere, feel good about what is taking place within, above, and below. Reversals in the feeling of time are coming in fast and furious. Archangel Daniel is a good reason for that, but our timeline shifts and micro adjustments are palatable if we wish to get into engineering. Our motion is making our perspective of time change very rapidly, and thus our cognition is feeling other rhythms. 5D hodgepodge, we told you way back that the Schumann would eventually hit the hundreds, it seemed unbelievable at the time, but here we are. We also said that the tool would not be an accurate gauge because the recording instrument is beyond flawed, this would be another example. The former Israeli space security chief is trying to work some good press for the Galactic Federation, we will not get into the semantics of this, but we will say that they are a bit late in this admission. The star races they are announcing are the old guard and should not be confused with the Galactic Federation's revamped version. We have apologized in advance for the space traffic on the East Coast. Many news sources have picked up this story because it has the residents unnerved. Again, we say this is why we give a very advance warning. The artificial sun will not go off without a hitch. If you live anywhere near this nuclear reactor, take every precaution with your general health. The radiation exuding from this artificial sun will be squashed by our intergalactic neighbors shortly. We would generally say this is something we should handle, but we have a group, chomping at the bit, to address this issue. Many people are about to see their soul contracts cashed in. If you have not already voluntarily helped Earth's progress, you are about to be of excellent service one way or another. The statement's dynamics will range significantly from exits to innovations, regardless, this is a divinely orchestrated event. Archangel Raphael insists there is a good deal of illness coming from lack of oxygen. His suggestion is to become an amateur indoor botanist and create a mini jungle in your residence, and it will go a long way. 
The vortex formed over Peru is a helpful tool lent to us by the Ananakai, the original inspiration of Machu Picchu. The crystals buried deep in the ancient structure are now active and functioning optimally. This vortex is an exit and entrance portal and can also act as a stargate. Volcanic activity in Alaska is going to come forth like a tidal wave. This shift is going to affect the northernmost sections of the earth significantly. Consequently, the ring of fire will also react to the activity in new and never before seen ways. This new movement is because the initiating action will be coming from a different area altogether. We must avoid areas where the flooring is lava, which will not be too hard to do. France and California are about to experience a shakeup. This is necessary to remove harmful residue from the pure aspects of energy buried beneath. Philosophical buffet, I have never been on an airplane. Yet I have flown many times. I have never been in a boat, yet I have sailed all seven seas, in spirit. There is no limit to where you can go, physically, you are much more limited. Reach for a place in your mind with the same confidence you do when searching from recent memory, and you have arrived. The issue with calling the monoliths, autoworldly, is that galactic beings do generally not shop at Home Depot. These structures feature screws and raw building substances from the hardware store. This situation is going to become an embarrassing situation for many mediums who claim otherwise. To the builders of these shiny structures, may we suggest putting your building skills to great use, build something useful like a shrine, garden, or a small residence. This parlor trick has a tremendous amount of effort across the globe. Imagine if this motion was a useful building project that benefits humanity instead of what it has become. You are not alone, but more than this, you are surrounded by the most powerful beings ever to exist. If this does not instill confidence, keep in mind that they guard a direct incarnation of infinitely expanding creator source with unlimited power. We must seek wisdom within ourselves on behalf of all life. Looking deep into your essence to see the connection we have with all life is very important to help know what is best for the collective. In other words, be the change on every dimension imaginable and look to your inner, higher guidance on how to do so. Social media has taught so many to sensationalize themselves. This medium restricts genuine connection and only allows for egos to dance in the darkness with each other. Finding one's most authentic self requires the lens of natural sources and not the opticalized sensationalism. Today's tools, tools will be active until the next post. Use the legend below to help you decipher how to best use today's weapons. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. It will work on its own when you accept its presence. All you need to do is give permission, and it will work on your behalf. Active equals intention needed to use. Aggressive equals will attack before anything has a chance to harm you. Do not try to wield weapons if there is no pure love in your heart for your emotions and the attached beings. General, we have a strong shield and armor set. Archangel Metatron's broadsword is still in play. It is only said this way as a precaution. Leave nothing to chance in our control. The violet flame is set for 9, 27, 2 plus 7 equals 9. The violet flame is in its correct violet setting, which evokes a transmutational quickening. This fire is a very concentrated flame with unlimited omnipotence. The Violet Flame team is as follows and is in no particular order. Archangel GZ Rail, Archangel Galizur, Archangel Ednachil, Archangel Emmanuel, Archangel Servile, Archangel Michdil, Archangel Bazazath, Archangel Tubil, Archangel Dikwil, Archangel Sanyal, Archangel Burial, Archangel Azil, Archangel Omil, Archangel Zadquil, Archangel Pelil, Archangel Fanuel, Archangel Jermaine, Archangel Ansil, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Briathos, Archangel Harahil, Archangel Eshma, Archangel Abisdahan, Archangel Af, Archangel Tatrasil, Archangel Avraxos, Archangel Adonai, Archangel Shimsil, Archangel Vermil, and Archangel Dabril. Active Archangel Michael's legendary sword can handle anything, as it is entirely omnipotent, no level of consciousness can block this divine weapon. It is also a great weapon against electronics and technology as it can override any circuitry. Passive, active and aggressive Archangel is 6 radiant field, looks a lot like Magneto's force field, and it reacts to any life form with either loving energy or a transmutational blast of vast power. 
Passive and aggressive Archangel Leo Swords of Plenty is a passive and aggressive attack sword with a complete will. Do not try to wield at all, you will only get in the way. Equip and go. Passive. Archangel Gabriel's Shield of Truth allows righteousness and justice to be your most outstanding defense. When equipped, this will enable facts to protect and serve us. This shield also helps bring abundance to our lives. Active Archangel Nils Wand of Truth will provide tests for various reasons. If no intention is present, it will test for purpose and willingness to harm. Wield this wand when truth needs a reveal. Active, passive and aggressive Archangel Pengya Somaha Sabal is an excellent sword for protection as it acts very aggressively on your behalf. Just equip to your side and it will go out of its way to clear the lower timelines on your behalf. Active and passive Archangel Zadeki's Hink, as he calls it, is like an angelic Swiss army knife that can be useful to open or close a portal, activate a grid, and to help manifest your desires. This brilliant tool creates conscious energy. Passive and aggressive Archangel Raguel's Orb of Reassurance is like having a supportive best friend in your ear at all times. It is incredibly entertaining and amazingly wise, much like Archangel Raguel, a fantastic tool of communication. Active Archangel Orion's Engineering Star Staff can correct inconsistencies or DNA issues in any being. It can also aid in healing the electrical problems of living beings. Active Archangel Ariel's Wand of Comforts helps you summon any necessity you may have. It is a beautiful and comforting tool when equipped. Active, aggressive and passive Archangel Israfil's Flaming Sword can protect you against all things directed to you on a macro or micro scale. It can also speed up the time in which something you wish to manifest will come to fruition. Active, aggressive and passive Archangel Nisarajil's Flaming Sword can bring any negative energy to its knees. It also can remove all obstacles in the way of something you wish to manifest. Active, aggressive and passive. Archangel Expedit's Wand of Speed drastically decreases wait time in all situations. This tool is useful on large and small things, one of the only devices that work equally well macro and micro. Aggressive. Goddess Lakshmi's blessing can convert pain into pleasure. This tool turns everything into a miracle, waiting to manifest. It can also guarantee human survival necessities. Passive Archangel Dimabayat Sark is a box of unlimited size that guarantees the delivery of divine blessings and protects your plans if they are for your highest good. Put your goals, wishes, dreams, and prayers inside for guaranteed delivery. Passive and aggressive Archangel Shepherd's Orb is a divinity presence that allows anyone to encounter a clear path to forgiveness or a direct audience with infinitely expanding creator source. This tool is a genuinely compassionate tool of divine orchestration. Passive Archangel Zadeki's Pendant of Justice lessens all judgment against you and casts you in a favorable light. This tool can also be used for general shielding. Active Archangel Zagzagal's Staff Heavenly Might rains large crystal masses upon a targeted area. Great for large targets, works on the physical and non-physical as well. Passive Archangel Vahu Mana's Timepiece allows you to savor a positive feeling or thought. It brings an element of majesty to your everyday moments, and it prevents the interference of harmful time travelers. Passive, active and aggressive Archangel Chimul's Radiant Peace allows you to be secluded in a peaceful bubble, no matter what is happening around you. This tool also allows those in your heart to have protection as well. Passive and active Archangel Jeremy's Enhanced Intuition allows your soul's voices to become louder. It enables the judges of spirit to be more evident than ever. Passive Archangel Temperance's Health Elixir rejuvenates all aspects of your being with a steady stream of potent healing energy designed to help in good health and in bad. Just allow this tool to work on your behalf by telling Archangel Temperance to make it so. Active Archangel Simkil's Difference Maker will stop at nothing to bring victory to your door. If you evoke this tool, you must remove all judgment from its methods. Active and passive Archangel Simul's Charm of Comforts is used to help us stay calm when anxiety hits. Hold it tight in your left hand when you need to, or just leave it equipped for general use and overall upliftment. Passive and aggressive Archangel Baruchi's Orb is excellent to encourage the healing of old wounds. This orb can is perfect for supporting your dreams and ambitions, but it can also knock beings into another galaxy when necessary.
Aggressive Archangel Balthiol's spinning blades can thwart any distress that you may experience, and it can also keep all of your enemies at bay. Even if a seven-nation army is against you, it will bring them to their knees before they can even formulate a plan. Very aggressive Archangel Burkey's lightning sword is an automatic attack sword that attacks anything meaning harm to anyone, anywhere near you. Passive Archangel Israel's staff allows you to see things from a divine perspective. It's a symbol of wisdom, and equipping this has incredible effects on your thought perception and ability to cope with everyday life. Active Archangel Israel's Soul Splitter has an aggressive attack upon anyone with a higher consciousness who wishes to harm any lower dimensional being. Its nickname comes from describing what it looks like in use. This tool is omnipotent to any evil force. Active, passive and aggressive Archangel Azurul's auto gears automatically sets the proper parameters to make changes smooth and effortless. It is a great tool to end relationships of all kinds with as it guarantees the event manifests for the greater good of all involved. Passive Archangel Lofi's Boutonniere enhances the beauty of yourself and all that you survey. This modality, like all passive tools, must be permitted to work on your behalf. Passive Archangel Jadotun's radiant sounds attract the most beautiful people to your life and enhance your surroundings with beautiful cosmic sounds. It's also a happy enhancer. Passive Archangel Jefuska's atmospheric bracelet brings an element of fun to your nights. Jefuska is the archangel who is in charge of gatherings. If you are so inclined to have one, she would be the recommended party planner. Passive and aggressive Archangel Kalesial's radiant rays of health wards off all diseases and illnesses. It can also help recover conditions already inflicted. It works on land masses and individual living beings. Passive and aggressive short and long range Archangel Thiele's radiant compassion sends heartfelt love to all within your jurisdictions. This tool is the nurturing aspect of healing and it has incredible warmth. It is best to wield this with a calm frame of mind. Active Archangel Raphael's healing staff is an omnipotent healing force that works gradually or intensively depending on how you yield it. It is considered the best general healing instrument. Today's Assignments Please use today's current tools if you need assistance performing the tasks below. Nothing is requiring you to do the following. If you are ready, your higher self will call you to duty. If not, skip to the meditation. Please note it is always advised to hold metaphysical modalities for at least a 144 count. You must be ready for unexpected calls to metaphysical action without a prompting. Use the current metaphysical tools. It's go time, you know what to do. Like any great team we must know that our partners are playing their position properly. A unique opportunity opened up to create an exceptional portal, and so we took the chance. What makes this portal set truly unique is that it aligns through all the dimensions to be productive to all life. Asterisk the exit portal will be erected the same way we usually do, in a square or rectangle. You can certainly do this in your mind's eye or on paper. Please note that you must burn this page if you use the form and pen method safely. Inner level 1 NNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNN
Me seven, 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 level eight. Seven BJ 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 level nine. I seven B D 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 Level A B N O B N O B N O B N O B N O B N O B N O B N O B N O level A one N seven N 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 level A two I seven 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 It is essential to do a complete inventory of everything you feel. It is equally important to do a thorough ethereal scan that filters these feelings through your mind's eye and interprets what you are getting. Again, to perform an ethereal scan gaze into reality with an observant third eye it is beneficial to take a full inventory before proceeding asterisk during your ethereal scan you will see hands held in place with chains around their wrists check yourself first then break those closest to you and then the rest of humanity with an accurate strike with sword and shield asterisk there is a part of ourselves that feels a bit of nausea about the lower timelines uncertainty It is best to look at this feeling and discern what it is deeply. There are evil intentions within the macro collective. Use a more specific ethereal scan and find any fragments scattered throughout our reality. This is simply residue. Once you locate the residue, create a funnel style exit portal and sweep the area surveyed. Then, engulf all that you have surveyed with the following plasmas: white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold. silver orange indigo violet platinum diamond rainbow to be noted this is why toxic positivity is a dangerous notion pain in any form is a call for attention when your foot hurts pain lets you know where it is and then you can deal with the issue such as all feeling on all dimensions asterisk people are being marked unwillingly we will call violations of free will and evoke the hand that feeds law as we directly evoke a rapid solution Astral travel to the highest dimension possible, produce a violet flame, then smash into our Earth's physical reality with a mighty thrust. Asterisk: There are no evil beings who can handle any transmutational light codes at the moment. It is very wise to use rainbow light whenever you feel inclined. In a joint effort of cooperation, use the following light codes as well to engulf our physical reality: rainbow, white, pink, light blue, gold, red, yellow, green. silver orange rose gold brown black indigo violet platinum diamond rainbow asterisk cities and areas in need of a violet flame bath perth subnet hobart paris san antonio san juan little rock pahlar el salvador dove creek vanica puerto rico rio papua new guinea rome london melbourne perth sydney nyc washington dc los angeles bali Cape Town, Alexandria, Tanzania, Oslo, Nepal, Bali, Hanoi, Mumbai, and New Delhi. Asterisk. Perhaps we should create megalith overlays or new ones altogether. Usually, megalithic structures are tuning forks. It would be fantastic if the people who made these knew that, but they do not. These structures have screws, nuts, and bolts. If you cannot look past that and see the divine hand involved, regardless of it is human or not. It's best to use new locations and create your own megalithic of light. If not, it may help inquiring minds to use the areas already suggested. Asterisk Archangel Anseal and Archangel Metatron's containment cubes can be used by anyone with a pure heart. As an exercise of practice, do a specific eternal scan and place violet, green, and black boxes around all dark hearts. You can find a dark heart by there, smoking blackish grey heart chakra. This effort will do many things both for humanity and the targets, all of which are incredibly positive. Asterisk people need a reminder that their higher self is the divinity they seek, and they are never without hope. Place rainbow orbs from the sun on top of all heads of pure hearts of this world. You can quickly identify pure heart by its light aura and bright heart. most people are in this category 
Asterisk the last three walls that humanity needs to break are symbolic to the mind's eye but very real to the spirit's intentions. In front of our general reality, we have three pastel walls, one light blue, one magenta, and one gold. You will notice that the colors are not vibrant and faded because they are old and no longer serve us. Dissolve whatever is left of these structures with a sweeping rainbow breeze. Then, we will erect walls of light with no boundaries so that anyone can walk through if they so choose to do so. The color scheme is the same, one light blue, one magenta, and one gold. This combination will help with the initial shock of the release, and provide a comfort level within these boundaries. This wall is a meek wall with absolutely no restrictions from the higher dimensions, and this will ensure the divine hand is always one motion away. Asterisk as far as anyone can remember, there have been human rights atrocities in Africa. The motherland of the earth has always been abused and mistreated. The Builders Legion has suggested building self-sustaining light sources throughout the content. This structure is not a shrine or a pyramid but a self-sustaining star. To form this power source, you must combine massive amounts of masculine and feminine energies into a concentrated light source. Start with a rainbow orb and blast it with equal parts of masculine and feminine energies from both hands. When the star is born, it will send you a shock wave. After you have firmly covered Africa with these, continue to place them around the world, especially in your close geographic positioning. Asterisk we will bring a deep healing to Gaia and her children by engulfing the core of the earth in emerald green flame, emerald green plasma, emerald green light, green ray light, rainbow plasma, and rainbow light. Asterisk it is a good general practice to leave the entirety of the earth in divine orchestration as we finish up our work. Engulf the earth in the following flames, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, rainbow. Engulf the earth in the following lights, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, rainbow. Today's mediation is above, please enjoy.